What's going on, guys? This is Magic Pyro here, <coughs> and I'm just bringing you a competitive battling six on six. And uh, yeah, it's my first one on the on the thing, except for an epic Gardevoir sweep I put on too. But this is this is it. So here you go. Here, I'll put the volume up for people who want to hear it. So this guy's Albert, and he, since he has a Zoroark on his team, I know he's going to lead off with that. So I'm with my Xerneas, because he's, he's super effective against the Zoroark. But I took a lot of time against this one, because I didn't know if this was actually the Scissor. And then once I saw the thing throw, I'm like, yeah. So I might as well just go for the Moon Blast and knock out the Zoroark. So... The illusion was off because I knocked him out. And I had that fairy aura on. So it's stab plus that. And then he actually sends out the real scissor. And I, I mean, I gotta switch it out. <coughs> so I bring my pyro, four times super effective. And he sets up a sword stance. Which, um, he's at plus two now in attack. Um, yeah, now, now we have to switch out because I can just sleep and knock him out. So uh, yeah, he's actually going to bring you this Rotom to take it. Well, Lee. So I have to switch out again. And I go into my Sylveon because I know this guy's really specially defensive. My Sylveon. So I know I can take a hit pretty well. So now that he sees that I'm really bulky, he can go for a toxic to get good residual damage on me. So I decided to go for moon blast because you know why the heck not? But uh and I lower special attack, so that's pretty good. And he goes with a hex. Which is not very effective no, it is it does new normal damage, but it doesn't really do a lot. I mean should do like oh I thought it would do more than that because Hex does um gets more damage behind it after if um your opponent has a status condition so if he sends off his uh thing his hacker sorry um I'm like why because you're a dragon type but I can just take you out with the moon block. <coughs> so yeah I, I, I mean, he has a focus actually, so that's what he was thinking about. And he got a plus one, plus one, his attack and speed. So, I'm just going to keep this guy, um, just to, uh, put back out later. To, you know, um, to sack off later. And goes with the poison jab, and I was not expecting that at all, but I live at 12. Now this doesn't matter because he's at plus one speed, so he's going to um, outspeed me anyway. So he can just go for that and he'll defeat me. So there's my Sylveon. But, I mean, yeah, he, he saw us proof of my Garden Angel, which is really weird. But I mean, it's Outrage. It's going to kill me. Whatever. Right now I'm getting really mad because this, this is going to be sweet. But then, since he locks himself into Outrage, he can't affect me with it, as I bring in my Fairy-type. So, I get the kill, because I, I got him comfortable as he goes into Outrage. And then I send out my... That's why it's so important having two Fairy-types. Is that you can, like, you know... <clears throat> yeah. So now I bring out his Blazekin Mega Evolved, obviously. I was thinking he might protect, but I'm just going to go for the Moon Blast anyway. And uh, he does go for the Protect. <coughs> which was obvious. I mean, we could just get that speed boost up and kill me with the poison, so. You now I don't have super effective damage on him, so. That's good for him. Then you'll get the plus one speed. So now I bring in my Blastoise to finish him off. Of course he's going to withdraw because he, he needs him for later stuff. And I may evolve. 
to get my special D risen raised. And uh, I did with the Aqua Tail because I knew that won't kill boys again. And well, I knew it would do much to a lot of guys, but he did with the Hyper Beam, and I'm like. Well, actually, that was a good play because it's like max damage and he knows he's going to die with another Aqua Tail. So it doesn't really matter if he's going to recharge. But if I hadn't gone with Aqua Tail, if I over predicted, then he could be on with a Psychic. The Hyper Beam is still doing more. Now he just gives his other protect to get more sp another speed boost turn off just to, I mean, it really doesn't matter anymore. Because he's already going to be out speedy and he goes with a high jump kick and I do die for that. So that sort of stinks. He's at plus three so now he's going to out speed anything. He already was, but yeah. High jump kick. Can I take this? Raichu. I cannot. But I get the static on him. So he's paralyzed. And, uh. I mean, I guess that's good. Because he. It, it has a speed and it keeps. I mean, the paralyzation is really effective because. <coughs> because he can't move now. He's still outsped me because he was at plus four. Even paralyzation didn't. Let my pyro go first, and my pyro doesn't slow it out, so it out at all. So he actually lives by like the tiniest pixel ever, and uh, I can't. I have to recharge, but he gets fully paraxed again, and he goes with protect just to get more, just to get more uh, speed boost. I just go with the crunch because I know that's gonna kill. Uh -oh. High jump kick is, I mean, I'm a normal typed Pokemon, so I'm gonna go down to that. And I lose against Albert, so I hope you like this battle. I'll bring, um, I'll bring more because I have, like, lots more. I have, wait, let me go back. I, I have this one, this one, this one, blah, and I also have these. So I have a lot, um, but I'm going to show those later, right? Thanks for watching this. Unfortunately, we get a loss, but we'll come back strong, and I have, like, can I see it right here? Wait. Oh, I'm looking on the wrong side, All right? Um, it might be, yeah, I think it's this one. I get, like, a Greninja sweep, which is really cool. I might show that in the next one, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.